Well, you will only be able to love someone if you know about them. If you don't know about them and you utter, I love you, I love them and I love this one, that's not love. It might just be infatuation. It might just be, you know, uh, something false, perhaps. You don't even know the person and you say, I love this person. Or you don't know about them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. So this is why we have to go through some of what he endured and what happened to his best friends. Those who were his closest circle prior to him declaring prophethood. Guess what happened to them? They were the first of the lot who accepted him as a messenger. This is evidence that he was truthful. He was honest. His wife immediately declared, Allah will not let you down. You are a very good man. You are the best. Allah will not let you down. You have fulfilled the rights of the orphans, the rights of the widows, the rights of the neighbors. You are a person who helps people. You are honest. You are trustworthy. And she rattled out so many of his powerful, beautiful qualities. The wife. How many of us, our spouses can confirm the good qualities we have. If anything, they will complain of how bad we are. Right? It's a reality. If I give you a chance now to speak about your spouse, well, first I'll have to remove them from the hall for you to, to be brave enough to say things. May Allah forgive us. But this was Khadija binti Khawailid radiallahu anha. What a powerful woman. She was a wealthy businesswoman and she's telling this man whom she's married to for so many years. And when I say 15 years, I mean up to the point of prophethood because from the age of 25 to 40, that's 15 whole years. Up to the age of prophethood, and when prophethood came, guess what happened? Subhanallah. She was the first to say, no ways, I accept. And after that, you find the nephew who was living with them, Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, he declares. And Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, who was a bosom buddy, a friend, a very close friend, even before the time of prophethood. He was very close to Muhammad, peace be upon him. He says, I accept. I know you will not lie. If you have been so close to me, you've never lied in your life. This cannot be the time you're going to lie. Not at all. I accept it. And this is why if you take a look at 10 years down the line, when at the age of 50, he lost Khadija binti Khawailid radiallahu anha. That means in total, he was married to her for 25 years. 25 years. How many of us are married to our spouses for 25 years? Not yet. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. I'm almost there inshallah, almost there. A few more years if Allah gives it to us. But 25 years later, he lost his spouse. He was so sad. Allah took him up in Mi'raj to show him the heavens, to show him heaven and hell, to show him paradise and everything that was there. Subhanallah, when he came back, he, he, he to inform the people of what had happened and they said, He's a liar. They started laughing and they went to Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu saying, you know what? Um, if you heard a person say this, that he went up to the seven heavens in one night and came back and so on. Uh, obviously, that is something quite difficult to believe. But Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu immediately because he knew where it came from. He knew the source when he was informed. Your friend is saying this. Do you know what he said? He said, then I believe every detail of what he's uttered. This is the love. This is the love. Love develops into trust. That's what it is. 